All right, hey guys. So we're in Zacatecas today. Got in yesterday from Aguas Calientes. Took an hour and a half drive up. We're in the starting of the desert in the northern part of Mexico. It's a bit drier. I feel it in my lips. It's a bit cooler. It's just about 59 degrees. I have my jacket on. I'm becoming Mexican. I have anything below 70 or 80, I'll throw, throw the jacket on. So let's go take a look at Zacatecas. Okay, so one of the cool things about Zacatecas is that it has all these windy streets, kind of like Guanajuato. And they're called uh, Callejones, called, like Guanajuato as well. And then Morelia also had some Callejón, Callejón del Beso, Callejón... What was the one in Guanajuato? Callejón del Beso, Callejón del Romance. I think it was that, but I was getting in reverse. But anyway, here in Zacatecas, you can see it has the Callejón del Pensador Mexicano. This is the alleyway of the Mexican thinker. So I thought that was pretty cool all throughout the city center here because it's in the mountains and it was a mining town and there's not much space. It has all these winding streets and they all have the different callejones or alleys and they all have these really cool names. Let's keep going. Okay, so I haven't gone into this market yet, but I thought we'd go in, check it out, see if there's anything worth seeing. And I was walking in this area last night trying to find something to eat for dinner. And I thought it would be a nice interesting area to start off the day with. Well, last night it was really difficult to find something to eat. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm a vegetarian. And it was kind of difficult last night to find something. Usually it's pretty easy to find vegetarian food. And I found a few things, but nothing that really called my attention that much. So what did I get for dinner? Oh, I went to like, I thought it was a Greek place. But it turned out to just be a Mexican place. Hold on. So it looks like here it's just it's all restaurants. I guess they got more market stuff down that way. Let's go down that way. All right, well if you want a traditional dinner or lunch, it looks like a good place to go to. Let's take a walk down this street. I was seeing some interesting stuff when I was walking here. It's just a commercial street, but it's always kind of some cool stuff to look at. It's different. So here you got all the hats. Cowboy hats. And so Zacatecas just has about 200,000 people. It's a lot smaller than Aguas Calientes or it's really not a very big town at all. And a lot of the industry comes from agriculture. So I guess even though it has 200,000 people, it's still kind of a rural town. I know that when you go to a lot of the towns that you'll see in the videos that I've been to making the videos, like Kukula, Meka, that you can see they're very rural towns and they have a lot of agriculture. And I guess here in Zacatecas, it's the same. That even though it's kind of a larger town, city, that they have a lot of agriculture still. Or at least that's according to Wikipedia. And so another part of the industry is mining. I wanted to mention that, I guess if you know anything about Zacatecas, I didn't know this until very, very recently, until I started looking into it, and I think it's the, probably one of the first things you'll learn about Zacatecas when you start looking into it, is that it was 
a mining town. And that's, that's the reason that Zacatecas exists, is it was a big mining town, silver mining. And so they still do some mining, but not nearly as much as in the past. And that's what built the city it is today. And that's why it has all these beautiful old mansions, beautiful old buildings. It was a mining town. This mask, as I mentioned in the last video in Agos Calientes, I love how it looks, but it keeps falling down. It does it when I'm not talking, so when I'm walking around, it's just fine. When I get the video on, it starts to fall down a little bit. All right, well, we're right by the church, the main cathedral. So let's go take a look at the cathedral. Okay, so the center here of Zacatecas is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So I wanted to give you guys a little look at it as we're walking up to the cathedral here. The cathedral is with this with the dome right there. And we have these big beautiful Baroque, big beautiful Baroque, BBB, big beautiful Baroque spires. And I think it was built in the 1700s. There was originally a church there before. As churches go, they just always keep building on top of one on top of the other. But I wanted to give you guys a look at the center here as we're walking up on the church. And another thing about Zacatecas is that it's really known for this uh, pink limestone. There it is. Another beautiful church off in the background there. So Zacatecas is known for this pink limestone. And apparently they have that in Glasgow as well. As a friend, Gerald, hey Gerald, if you're watching the video, was telling me. So maybe they ship the pink limestone to Glasgow. Or does Glasgow ship the pink limestone to Zacatecas? The world may never know. <laughs> All right, let's go up to the front here and take a look inside the church. So I've been seeing these typical sweet shops all over the place. Dulces Typicos. 
so I thought it would be a good idea to get the my landlord something. So they're very nice with me. So let's see what they got, and I'll pick out something for my landlord and probably myself as well. These are good. Fifty pesos, about two dollars fifty cents, a little less. These are really good too. Coconut. 57 pesos. I think that'll be appropriate for the landlord. And then I think, let's see what else they got. And this, I'm trying to remember what this is called. But it's kind of like a jelly sort of thing. Membrilla. That's the word that's coming to mind, but I'm not exactly sure. And I'm not sure what you eat it with. <clears throat> if you eat it on toast or what you eat it with. Probably somebody knows. They could probably let me know in the comments. But the Mexico Mexican culinary tradition is one of the best in the world and they have all their own sweets as well. And I think I'll get one of these for me. Kind of like a... Dulce de leche and pecan, I guess. Hola. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Sería todo? Sí. Serían 107 pesos, por favor. Ya no tenemos bolsa chica, ¿verdad, Eli? All right, got the gifts for the landlord and myself. Let's keep going. Okay, here we are, day two of the Zacatecas adventure. And so, a word to the wise about the candy that you just saw me buy. Don't eat more than six pieces. Don't eat six pieces. Just eat one or two. If you eat six pieces, you'll come to regret it in the morning. I guarantee you that. Um, also, uh, buy chapstick if you're coming to Zacatecas. My lips are super dry. The air is really dry. And it's dried out my lips. So, buy some chapstick. But now, we're going to go to the Teleferico. I wanted to get some aerial shots of this city and I'm too cheap to buy a drone. So let's go to Teleferico. Más a ver, solo uno y de vuelta.
Okay guys, well that's it from here in Zacatecas. I'll be back in Guadalajara tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the video. See you guys soon. Bye bye. Ay Luisita, decidete luego, piensa luego después, no te amaré. Que mañana ya será muy tarde si te quieres, después arrepentir.